video, we're going to talk about three things that's keeping you from personally updating. Let's get right into my notes. I have a lot of things I want to cover. But before we get into my three points, let's define a personal update. It says here, a personal update refers to the process of making intentional changes or improvements in various aspects of life. It involves actively assessing and adjusting beliefs, behaviors, habits, goals, and attitudes to align with personal growth, development, and fulfillment. Personal updates aim to enhance one's well-being, relationships, skills, mindset, and overall quality of life through continuous self-reflection, learning, and adaptation. So in life, we have to constantly update. And the reason why, or if I can give a scripture that can really be the foundation of what I'm sharing is God wants us to go from glory to glory. Like when we continue to glorify God in and through our lives, then we naturally go from glory to glory. Everyone should be, everyone looking at your life should be able to see that you're going from glory to glory. So the goal in life is to get familiar with the Holy Spirit in our settings, mentally, in our lives, and see what updates are there for us to be up to date. And I have a lot of points I want to cover before I get to my three points. It says personal updating. It's a lifelong process. We must understand that personal updating is a lifelong process. I have to continuously look for husband updates. I got to constantly look in, the, in my settings where the spirit of God is, is, is sending updates uh, on fatherhood, updates on preaching, updates on exegetical ability, updates, updates, so I could be up to date, today's date, helping people. And so when I understand that updating personally is a lifelong process, then I will always be checking my settings because if I'm not updated, then I will not be able to feed what is in my life. Now, imagine me still operating at first year husbandhood. Imagine me still living the Josh of year one of marriage. That year one Josh is not going to help year five, uh, Brittany. You see what I'm saying? My wife. And so we have to understand that personal updating is a lifelong process, which means I constantly check for updates so I can be up to date to serve the people in my life. In life, you will always be required to update. If we do not update from the required updates, we'll be out of date. We'll be outdated. All right. Next point. Personal updating requires self-awareness. Anytime you begin to feel yourself not operating as yourself or not operating the way God wants you to operate under the roles that you rolled into, right? Then you got to be able to say, oh, I must check for all day. So when I find myself not operating at a level of husbandhood or operating a level of fatherhood, or operating a level of, 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 of in my purpose, then I, oh, there must be an update. So updates requires self-awareness. So when I'm not who, uh, if I'm not operating in the person that I need to be, if I'm not functioning at a level where uh, uh, where uh, I desire to be, then I must be an update there. It also says that personal updating is holistic. I just can't be sending updates to my entrepreneurial prowess. I can't just send uh, only update in business, or only update in ministry. Updating, personal updating me, I'm updating for every various or uh, every part of my life. That I'm updating spiritually, I'm updating my mindset, I'm updating my emotions, I'm updating my physical body, I'm updating my outlooks, my perspectives. I update holistically. And when we understand that, then we won't we won't be distracted from updating. Next point, let's define these different things. Updated means you're prepared. So when a person's updated, they're prepared for the date. They're able to get up to function in whatever God has functioned a uh, uh, place in that date. So when you're updated, it means you're prepared. So in singleness, when you've downloaded the update of singleness and now you up to date to the point to where you're not able to marry or you're not able to carry more in life, then that means you're prepared. Updating means you're getting prepared. Some of us are have already been updated. Some of us are updating. Updating means that I'm still in a process of being prepared. So for singleness or, or business or entrepreneurship or ministry, there's things still updating before you are able to get to a place or a date where you're able to function at a high level in your purpose. So when you understand that, you go, like, oh, God is still updating me. And it takes self-awareness. It takes looking at every uh, corridor of your life 
to see why certain things haven't walked through the doors of your life. So you can be able to say, okay, I need to work on this. I need to work on that. So God is obviously still updating me. The next point is updating or uh, updated, um, updated needed. So we said updated means you're prepared. Updating means you're getting prepared. Updated needed means you're not up to date for the demands of today's date. So some of us at a place where we've ignored the update. We've ignored it. We like we see the little red icon. We see the Holy Spirit icon saying, yo, you need to update. You need to be up to date in your husbandhood. You got to be up to date as a wife. You got to up update. It's time to update. It's a warning. Because if you don't update, you won't function well in the date that you need to update for. And so where are you today? You can comment or just reflect. Are you updated? And you like, yo, I'm prepared with fruit bearing evidence. I'm updating means that I'm not quite there yet, but I feel the process is updating me or you're the place where you're updated needed and, and, and you've been ignoring it. Let's keep going. Now, these here are three things that hinders us from personally updating. Number one, our comfort zones. Let's read. One of the primary factors that hinder personal updates is the tendency to stay within our comfort zones. Comfort zones refer to familiar, predictable situations or behaviors where we feel safe and at ease. While comfort zones provide a sense of security, they can also prevent personal growth and development. By avoiding new challenges or experiences, individuals may miss out on valuable opportunities for learning, expansion, and self-discovery. Staying within comfort zones can limit personal and professional progress, resulting in a lack of fulfillment, stagnation, and missed potential. So in order for us to get to a place where we up there, we got to get out of our comfort zone. God will never leave you comfortable. He'll leave you comforted, but not comfortable. See, the goal in life is to be comfortable in the uncomfortable because I'm comforted. Because I'm comforted, because God comforts me, that's why Jesus says his spirit will be the comforter. Because I'm comforted, I can handle the uncomfortable. But comfort zones will hinder you from being updated. So in order for us to even be in this process, let's scale back. We you got to be saved. You got to allow. You got to have accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior in order to get these intangible updates. See, not only do we need most people desire physical updates, but they don't desire internal updates. See, the goal in life is to be updated in character. To be updated in love, to be updated in joy, to be updated in peace, to be updated in the intangible things, long suffering, gentleness, all that, to be updated in the intangible things because the intangible fruit of the Holy Spirit helps us maintain the tangible fruits from our lives. And so if Jesus ain't the Lord of your life, then you're not going to have the Holy Spirit to send you these updates. And that's why your marriage is not up to date. That's why your life's not up to date. That's why your mind's not up to date. That's why your emotions ain't up to date. That's why everything's not up to date. Because number one, either you're one or two people. You're a person who's not saved. Therefore, you don't have the, the new system, the Holy Spirit, the, 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 the personalized, the person, the third person of the Trinity, his system that updates you. What heaven is requiring for you to update, to be up to date, to help those in your life. Or you were just a baby in Christ or a person that's saved and or you've been you was on fire for one moment or you're just a stagnant Christian that's ignoring the updates. Therefore, your marriage is suffocated because you updating your exegetical ability, but you have an updated in, 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 in embracing your family with love. So in order for us to get there to that place, we have a new where we have a new operating system in our device. In order for me to have a new operation in my device, I have to submit to the divine. So I can become an oper operable device that, that will garner or, 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 or give God fruit at an optimum level. So in order for us to get to that place, you got to say, am I in the right place spiritually? But our comfort zones, a lot of people are not going to get updated. They're not going to be the husband, the wife, the, the business person, the ministry person or, or wherever it is they endeavor to be if, they if they're comfortable. Right? So number two, fear of change. Fear of change. Fear of change is another significant obstacle to personal updates. Change can be intimidating and uncertain, often triggering feelings of anxiety or fear of the unknown. That happens, right? This fear can manifest as resistance to updating oneself. So right now, most people are, fear, are afraid of success and are afraid of failure. And so that fear paralyzes them and they don't want to update because they don't want to update to the responsibilities. Some people, the reason why they, they are where they are is because they know more is going to be required of them 
if they update to that person. So people love to be at a stagnant place. They, they don't want to change because they know if I change, then I have to change everything. And some people do not want to change everything for everything outside of the change. Meaning, you got to change your character. You got to change your words. You got to change a lot of different things in order to be successful. The fear, uh, it says, right, this fear can manifest as resistance to updating oneself, clinging to old habits, routines, or belief systems. The fear of change may stem from a concern about failure, rejection, or a loss of control. You can't fear that with God because we're in partnership with him. New operating system that's updating us, letting us know, hey, God is already who he is. But if I know I'm in partnership with him, that means these updates are necessary. The fear of change may stem from a concern about fear of failure, loss of control, etc. However, resisting change prevents personal growth and adaptation to new circumstances. It keeps individuals stuck in outdated patterns and prevents them from embracing new possibilities and experience. You can't, that's why the Bible says you can't put a new wine into old wineskins. What does that mean? When new wine is poured into old wineskins, Old wine skins are old skins that have already been to or have already stretched to their full, fullest capacity. And because that wine skin has been extended to its full capacity, when you put new wine in it, wine ferments. Wine will stretch that wine skin. And because it's hard and outdated, it bursts. Then the new wine is wasted. The reason why God doesn't pour new wine into outdated mindsets, because he knows that new wine is going to break the mind. The mind can't fully comprehend what wine does because wine ferments. Everything God pours into our lives expands. And if we're not expandable, if we're not adaptable, if we're not willing to change, then we'll break. That's why God don't, didn't pour that man in your life, didn't pour a woman in your life, didn't pour that in your life or this and like, because he knows if I pour this in your life, it'll break you more than the brokenness that you have right now and whatever that you are facing. So if you want God to pour new wine into you, you have to be in a constant level of freshness. You got to be a, a, a fresh wine skin so that you can stretch. See, marriage stretched me. Imagine me using single wine skins and asking God to pour fresh marital, marital wine into me. Then my friend, I would have been broke. The marriage would have been broken because God is not a God of waste. God is not going to pour something into you if he knows that it'll waste through you. So that's why a, a mind is a terrible thing to waste. Right? You got to paste the different things in your mind so that when God pours, it won't waste. It keeps individuals stuck in outdated patterns. How many of us are stuck in outdated ways of thinking when God has already shifted everything in your life or things around it? Uh, that's num number three, limited awareness or a lack of self-reflection. Lack of self-awareness or a tendency to avoid self-reflection can impede personal updates. Some individuals may not recognize the need for change or fail to assess their own beliefs. We have to look, the Bible says, look into the mirror, the perfect law of liberty. We look in a mirror for what reasons? We look in a, our bathroom mirror to make sure that we're presentable. We got to look in this to make sure that we're truly presentable and we got to self-reflect. We got to look at our lives and be like, yo, I can't avoid looking at me. Listen, whatever you do not address will undress you. Whatever you do not address in private will undress you, humiliate and expose you in public. So you got to have self-awareness. You got to take time to self-reflect. A lack of self-awareness or the tendency to avoid Self-reflection can impede personal updates. Some individuals may not recognize the need for change. We always got to be in a state where we can recognize our need for change or fail to assess their own beliefs, behaviors, or areas for improvement. How many of us know people who don't do this? How many of us are those people who don't reflect, who don't examine, who don't, who don't really say, yo, I need change? It becomes challenging to identify outdated perspectives, have the skills that require update. So for some of us, we have very great success in certain principles and things that we did. But those things don't work now. Do you know how many churches still use outdated things or, or new age things and it's not working now? It's not literally working to make the believer stronger. 
How many people are, oh, how many, oh, right now, <clears throat> are you watching this video on a BlackBerry phone? Yes or no? Are you watching this phone? Are you watching this thing on a, a T-Mobile sidekick? Are you watching this on a Palm? Nobody's watching this on a Palm, a BlackBerry, or a, a, a T-Mobile sidekick. It's an outdated device. Everybody is either watching from some Samsung or iPhone device that in updates <clears throat> to keep their devices up to date to the, to, to, to the demands and the changes. Can you shift with God? Uh, this limited awareness can lead to a lack of personal growth as individuals remain unaware of their blind spots or areas in which they could benefit from self-improvement. It hinders the development of self-awareness, emotional intelligence, we'll talk about that later, and the ability to make conscious choices. So it can be difficult, challenging to, to, to change outdated perspectives, habits, beliefs, and skills. But yo, <clears throat> I got to I gotta update so I can be successful. So listen, I got to update as often as I need to because the world is changing. The evangelistic methods back in the day where it was flyers and magazines ain't working today. So we got to get to a place where we say, okay, God, update me, make me fresh. So I can be able to help people right now in today's world. Now let's talk about three consequences that I updated real quickly. Here are three consequences that can arise from not personally updating oneself. Number one, stagnation. Failing to engage in personal updates can lead to a sense of stagnation. Without actively seeking growth and development, individuals may find themselves stuck in old patterns, routines, or ways of thinking. This lack of progress can result in feeling of being stagnant, unfulfilled, or disconnected from one's true potential. When you stagnant, man, you can't be a magnet. When you stagnant, you can't be a magnet. People are out there after it are magnets. People who magnify God, glorify God, be, are with God, God's magnet, magnetational, ma magnetational pull pulls things to your life because you magnify God in your life. You're not stagnant. And so this thing, if you, stagnation, if you do not update, you will be stagnant. And then what will be the consequence? Feeling unfulfilled. How many people at a job right now because God done updated that essential update for that business idea, essential update for that ministry to update or that thing that's going to create generational wealth in your life. And now you feel unfulfilled pursuing a career that got you a, 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 a plaque on the wall, a, 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 a degree or certificate, but that's not what God called you to. And how many of you all need, need to pivot right now and shift into that? And that update was, listen, do you know there's consequences of missed opportunity? Um, uh, that's the next point. We'll get there. The lack of progress can result in feeling of being stagnant, unfulfilled, or disconnected from one's true potential. So you don't want to be stagnant. You want to be a magnet. And those who move are magnet. Missed opportunities. Here we go. Now I'm getting to where I want to get to. Not engaging in personal updates can cause individuals to miss out on valuable opportunities. Personal updates enable individuals to expand their knowledge, skills, and perspective. Expand. New wine, old wine skin. Expand. Personal updates enable individuals to expand their knowledge, skills, and perspectives, which opens doors. If I don't open up, if I'm not expandable, if I'm not adaptable, then doors will open, which opens doors to new possibilities and experiences. Without updating oneself, one may overlook or pass up on chances for personal and professional growth, limiting their ability to reach their goals or explore new horizons. This happens all the time. There is a such thing as missed opportunities, even to believers. Like, because you did not, with the skip, I want you to be scared of this. I want you to be terrified by this thing I'm about to say. Do you know that there is a possibility? That you're going to miss possibilities. That you're going to miss opportunities. How many people right now watching, you know of people or people watching later where you know you miss that opportunity. That, that We all have a window of opportunity. And if we don't take the updates today, then, the up, then we're just going to malfunction. How many of us are in position right now because we're not updating, we're not going to be able to have those opportunities. 
If I didn't have certain updates installed in my singleness, I would have missed out on my wife. Imagine, my wife will tell you right now, it was not in her faith-believing plans to marry a man who's a baby's father and had baby mama drama. So imagine if I had sex with multiple women, had babies out of wedlock, and the one that God has for me says that's not what she wants, I would have missed out on this opportunity. This is not bringing condition on people. This is giving reality. I may not be able to save people on the left side of the auditorium, but I'm talking to the people in the back. I'm talking to the people that's like, yo, I don't even got that in my life. You can literally do some dumb stuff and end up not having the stuff that you want because you didn't update. You didn't update your identity in Christ. You didn't update your righteousness being in him. You didn't allow that. And that's why our churches have failed us, has failed so many people because they they, they preach these broad and, and flex their exegetical abilities and they flex their knowledge of God, but they're not helping the people grow in God. And if you can't grow in God, then you can't grow the things of God and the things that deserves growth. I got to continue to grow for my marriage to grow. If I stop growing, whatever I have will die. And so what I'm telling you is, yo, you got to, we all got to wake up and be like, what am I doing right now due to ignoring the updates that's going to hinder me or put me in a position of missed opportunities? Because God is going to do the Kanye show and be like, yo, I, I sent you the update two years ago. I sent you the update four years ago. I sent you the updates, man. But you was up to dating. You was up to hating. But you wasn't updating. And now you was up to dating. You dated the wrong one without the updates. Do you know how scary it is to be with someone without the updates? Do you know how scary it would be for my wife if I stopped updating? Do you know how scary it would be if my wife stops updating? Like, Do you know the fear that will, that will be near to my daughter if I stop updating? And we miss great opportunity. How many men right now and women right now are very successful? They've updated themselves entrepreneurially, updated themselves in business, but didn't update their families. And now a man got to watch another man raise his children. You got to watch another man uh, 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 have the heart and the awe of your children. And now you got to watch your kids as a woman uh, uh, look into someone else for nurturing. Do you know? Do you know like the consequence of not updating? Some things we ain't going to get. Some things ain't going to be redeemed. Some of us too old for it. Some of us missed it. Some of us are so filled with so many baggage and, and don't even know what to do with it. But if you're watching me right now, you're like, yo, I, I have an opportunity to update. And then you might want to update. Because if you don't update, you're going to be up to hating. Hating on someone who did update. Let's keep going. Lack of adaptability. The world is constantly evolving. And not updating oneself can lead to a lack of adaptability. By not staying abreast of changing circumstances, technologies, and societal shifts, individuals and believers may struggle to navigate new challenges or seize emerging opportunities. This can hinder their ability to effectively respond to changing circumstances, leading to decreased resilience, flexibility, and success in various areas of life. Do you know we are the cheat code? We got the Holy Spirit, yo. Like, like, like we're cheers, bro. Like, like it, it's it should be unfair. Do you know the whole kingdom of Egypt was at the feet of Joseph? Do you know how many kings' hearts was at the feet of God's men and women? Like, we're supposed to be the ones running society, but because we're not updating spiritually, because we're not updating with the intangible fruit of the Holy Spirit, and the reason why we're not updating the world is updating at a high level, and we're ineffective, and we're outdated. We're supposed to be days up the road. <laughs> like, <clears throat> what I mean by that, we should be up a few dates. When you have the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit will have you up the dates. What I mean by that is that you will be ahead of the curve. <laughs> God will put you up a few dates and he'll have you create things that the world's not taking right now. That's why all those creatives right now, influencers for God, don't be discouraged because you're ahead of the curve. You had you up a few dates and the world. And that's why stay strong up there, because when they come to you, you will have the answers to their dreams. You will be able to interpret their dreams. You will be able to create systems and ingenuities and, and create uh, structures that will cause uh, 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 things to, to last. That's what the Holy Spirit, I check my updates. How do you want me to write these new books, God? 
How do you want me to do business, God? How do you want me to do ministry? How, where do you want me to shift? And even though right now there may be seven people watching, or right now there may be uh, not that many uh, people in my ecosystem, that's about a thousand, a few thousand, but people in my ecosystem at the level of these other people, when you are someone like me, you'll be like, God, keep, keep working in me because you up a few dates. A lot of believers get discouraged because nobody is, 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 is engaging with them right now. It's because you're up a few dates. And when people come to the date where you are, man, they'll be able to, they'll be buying stuff near and far. But you have to be adaptable because God's going to stretch you beyond that. And everybody else is still diddling and dallying these different things of today. But God's drifting you into the future with creative ideas in the future. And you got to adapt with being in the future while still being in the present. You got to be able to have the mindset of already but not yet. One of the toughest things for young people, the toughest things for a, a God's people, young or old, is already but not yet. When already but not yet means is I'm already who I am, but I'm not yet where I desire to be. So God has already gifted you with the already, but it's not yet to release it. But when it's released, so much stuff going to happen. By not staying abreast of changing circumstances, technology, societal shifts, individuals may struggle to navigate new challenges or seize emerging opportunities. This can hinder their ability to effectively respond to challenges and circumstances leading to decreased resilience, flexibility, and success in various areas of life. So you have to be adaptable. Now, three things that need to be updated, and I'm out your way. Three things that must be updated starting today. Number one, belief systems. Read these quickly. Updating belief systems is akin to upgrading the operating systems of a phone. Beliefs may pay a fun beliefs play a fundamental role in shaping your thoughts. I just did a video on YouTube. Go check it out. Once this video ends, go to my YouTube and go watch my video. What did I talk about? I talked about uh, limiting beliefs. I forgot what the title is. Watch that video. This point that I'm sharing, man, the Holy Spirit dropped. So go go after this video if you have time. While you washing dishes, while you cleaning the house, while you putting the baby to sleep. Or why you, or whatever you doing, playing a video game, got the game on mute, but you listen to the message. Go listen to that. Be belief system. Updating belief system is akin to upgrading the operations of a phone. Beliefs play a fundamental role in shaping our thoughts. So in order to impact, in order to have, in order to do, I have to be. In order for me to be, I have to believe. And your level of belief will determine your level of being. Your level of being will determine your level of doing. Your level of doing will determine the level of having. And your level of having will determine your level of impact. So just as an outdated operating system may cause a phone to lag or malfunction, outdated or limiting beliefs can hinder personal growth and success. It's crucial to regularly evaluate and update our belief systems by challenging and expanding our perspectives in God, embracing new knowledge and experiences and being open to change. Updating our beliefs allows us to evolve and adapt, enabling a personal development and a more fulfilling life that can glorify God at an optimum level. That's why I always say in my videos, for most of them, my goal is to help you grow holistically for God's optimal use. We don't want to God, we don't give God some little uses. We want to give God optimal use where, where it's, it's, it's usable, it's durable. So we got to update our beliefs. Like, right? yo, you got to get into the word of God and see what the word of God says about you and begin to really believe that God has a vast sum amount of thoughts about you and that he wants you to succeed. He wants you to be great. He wants you to be impacting. Right. Number two, nothing, nothing got to be updated. Skills and knowledge. All of us got some level of updates in our operating system by the Holy Spirit that's saying right now you got to update your beliefs. You got to update your skills and knowledge. Similar to updating apps and software on a phone, updating one's skills and knowledge is essential for personal and professional growth. In a rapidly changing world, it is crucial to stay updated with the latest information and advancements in any areas of interest or expertise. This involves continuous learning, acquiring new skills, and staying abreast of technological and societal advancements. By updating our skills and knowledge, we can enhance our com competency, remain relevant, and unlock new opportunities for success. So what that means is, with the Holy Spirit, when I give him my will, he gives me new skills. And skills turns to dollar bills. See what I'm saying? Skills turns to, to, to generational success. And so when I update my skills and my knowledge of God's word, the, applic the applicable understanding of God's word, where I'm able to take it and apply it in a quick way, 
and my skills are like sharp. Like it's not to the point to where I get it until I get it right. I'm so skilled that I I can I did it to the point to where I can't get it wrong. I'm so good at what I do and you will be so good at what you do to the point to where it's it's rare that you get it wrong. So I got to update. God said, I want to update your speaking skills. I want to update your writing skills. I want to update your emotional intelligence skills. I want to update your system and development skills. I want to update your artistry, your, your dance. I want to update your skills and I want to update your knowledge of me. I want you to update your knowledge of yourself. I want you to update your knowledge of your expertise. And then it will unlock opportunities. Then you you won't even be competitive. You will be you will be the goat. You will be the top of your industry because you took time to update your skills. So many of us we quick to do all these different things, but we don't update ourselves skillfully. Just like you update your apps, you update your ability to apply. Next, last but not least, mindset and attitude. And then I'm done. Just as a phone's user interface can be customized and personalized. Updating our mindset and attitude is crucial for personal development. Our mindset or our predominant way of thinking influences how we perceive and respond to situations. It affects our resilience, problem solving abilities and overall outlook on life. Upgrading our mindset involves cultivating a growth mindset, embracing positivity, practicing self-compassion and fostering a proactive and solution oriented attitude. Some of our mindsets, we only see problems. We don't, we don't see the solutions to the problems. The way you train your mind will determine what you see. When I see things, I see solutions. I don't see problems. That's why I don't like when a bunch of problems are thrown away. I'm like, yo, here are solutions. And if you train your mind to only see problems, you will be stagnant. But if you train your mind to see solutions, you will solve problems. And a person who solves people's problems, those people will solve your money problems. Understand that. If you solve a bunch of people's problems, then those people's pockets will solve your money problems and whatever whatever you need money to answer to. That's why we got to get a mindset, develop our skill sets so we can have assets that will set us up for life. By consciously updating our mindset and attitude, we can enhance our emotional well-being, we'll be strong spiritually, our relationships and overall satisfaction life will increase. So what's keeping you from updating? Because those who do not update are people who will not be useful. And so I challenge you today to spend some time with God and say, God, yo, am I am I updated? Am I updated to today's date? If you're a married man, you got to say, man, am I up to date to the man I need to be for my wife right now? If you're a wife, am I up to date to what I, what my husband needs? Uh, am I up to date to what my children need? Am I up to date to what my people need? Am I up to date what my family need? Am I up to date to what my company needs? Am I up to date? Because when you go a few, when you allow the Holy Spirit to update you, up you, He will up you a few dates beyond the people that you serve. That's why the Bible says, "Work unto the Lord." When you work unto the Lord, the Lord will shift your mindset. The Lord will sow into your mind. The Lord will show you different things. And in the middle, in the middle of your couple corporation, they'll be like, "Yo, we gotta pay him more. Yo, we gotta pay him more." Or you will create something that's so powerful that you reach millions of people, and and now you got millions of dollars in your account. That's how it works. Or you in a place right now where you live in fulfilled no matter where you are. Not everybody's meant to be millionaires. But you're but you're prospering. You're prospering internally. You're prospering externally. You, you're bubbling with love, joy, peace, long-suffering, patience, gentleness. And you're not in a place where you're in deficits or debts with it. But when you understand this these points, then you will always be humble. And you will say, Holy Spirit, where am I not updating? Because God, if I'm not updated then what's going to happen to all those things that, that are in my life? If you need help with this and you're like, coach, my mentality is not updated. My skills not updated. And you want to learn how to be up to date. And I want you to go to the link in my bio or link in my description box. If you're watching on YouTube or listening and go to my coach. There's a link that says my forward slash mindset master is a hybrid program that teaches you the fundamentals of mindset and the fundamentals of purpose. Man, if you want to get to a place where you like, yo, I want to get to a place where I'm mentally free, where I'm updating at a high level and I'm succeeding at a high level, where where I'm my marriage is going to another level. I'm going from glory to glory. My singles and my marriage is going from glory to glory. My kids is going from glory to glory. My business is going from glory to glory. Everything's going from glory to glory because everything in me glorifies God is updating. If you want to get to that place where you're tired of up hating and tired of you up to date, all that kind of stuff, and you want to get to that place where mentally and purpose you die. And go to that link in my bio. Go to the link in my um, 
description box, Mindset Mastery. Fill out the application. I'll reach out to you this week and we'll get you in the program. We, we are going to be on week four, but you'll be able to watch all the other videos. But you're going to be in a community of people who are ready to mind shift to be mentally set so they can be set for life. Love y'all. Yes, my uh, my friend, this will be recorded. I will post it later and I will post it on YouTube. And I will be on my podcast for those who can't watch, but you want to listen just to keep this thing in the midst of your mindset so it can shift, so you can be set uh, mentally and settled in God mentally so that you can be successful in God and God can use you at an optimum level. Love y'all. Thank y'all so much for joining me. I pray I was blessed by Mindset Mastery, a hybrid program for the fundamentals of thinking and the fundamentals of purpose. Get into that program today. Fill out the application today. Let's work. Let's get you to a place where your mind is working for you and not you working for your mind. I love y'all. Y'all be blessed. Catch y'all next time. Peace.